Hi guys, I'm here with this awesome RS4, kindly given to me for a week by Audi UK. I'm really, really thankful for that opportunity. I'm sure loads of you have seen uh, my stories, uh, but I thought I'd give you a bit more of an in-depth video about the car. Quite a cool shot there, just there. That looks pretty cool. I have a few functions there. You can pop, I'm just focusing on the car. There you go, you can see the boot coming up. Um, unfortunately, I don't think you can close it. We'll try it. I don't think you can. I'll be impressed if you can. No, you can't. Okay, so um, so that obviously opens the lid, um, the boot, and then that unlocks it, and then obviously that one locks it. It looks a different colour in different lights. Today it looks a lot darker than some of my uh, Instagram stories I was sharing earlier in the week. This colour is called Sonoma Green. Uh, it's very similar to sort of a, a British racing green, but it's it's almost pearlescent. It changes colour in in the sunlight. In in some in some light, it can almost go a fluorescent green. So it looks pretty awesome, and it really does catch the eye. Because this is the carbon edition, this comes with quite a lot of carbon fibre. So when you really sort of get close to it and start examining it, you, you really start noticing how much carbon fibre there is. This front splitter here is all carbon fibre, um, and also. We have the Matrix LED headlights as well. Then you come around, you've obviously pretty standard with the RS models. You've got the RS calipers, massive disc brake here on the 20 inch rims as well. These, these, uh, these mirrors, they're carbon fiber as well. And also the skirting along the bottom of the door is all carbon fiber. All this down along here is all carbon fiber. It's pretty standard in a lot of the new cars these days, but auto opening boot and there's loads of space in there. Huge amount of space, obviously the seats go down and so there's a lot of carbon fiber just on the exterior of the car. And then I just close this boot. This is pretty, pretty funky. A lot of cars have this, but this is still one of my favorite little gadgets. And then all here is carbon fiber and there's a lot of aero as well. So this is actually fake. Is, as is a few of them as well here. This is just purely for aesthetics. And also there's some on the, the front here as well. They, they look cool, but they're not, they're not real. They don't go anywhere. In fact, let's have a look. No, they don't go anywhere either. But all this down here, this is all real. All the aero here is real. Calls the brakes. So we come around to the rear again, I'll just show you the rear. These exhaust pipes are huge. It really can't put it into perspective on video how big they are, but I can literally, I could put two fists in there. It's, <laughs> it's that big. All this is carbon fiber in the diffuser and it goes to another huge uh, exhaust pipe there as well. So that is the outside of the RS4 um, Avant. It looks pretty cool, um, I love it. If I'm going to be completely honest with you, it's not the kind of car I typically go for. And this particular model is spec'd out thousand. It's 76,000 and something. So it's, it's, it's not cheap. Um, and I think it poses the question of what alternatives are out there for a similar price point. And I think what it all comes down to is where you are in your life and, and what you want from a car. If you've got a family, you might have a dog. Um, you know, whatever, and you just need the space, but you also want performance. This car certainly ticks those boxes. This is a V6, 2.9 liter. It does naught to 60 in just 3.8 seconds. Audi say it's 4.1, but they always understate their times. It's actually 3.8. And we get in, and I'll show you some of the features on the inside. So, straight away, you notice how much carbon fiber there is. There's a lot. Uh, all this inlay here is carbon fiber. All the inlays on the passenger side, you've got the Quattro badge and all in the doors as well, you've got carbon fiber and the red stitching carries through from the seats. And these seats are really funky. There's quite a few features like massaging your back. They're really, oh, some of the most comfortable seats I've actually been sat on in a, in a high performance car. And that's saying something. Anyway, so we we'll just start the, the car up and you'll see the start process. Before I put, if you put your foot on the brake, it obviously would turn the ignition on, but if you just put the ignition on without your foot on the brake, it just fires up all the systems. The mirrors go out as well. I missed that, but the mirrors flick out. You also have blind spot as well on the inside of the mirrors. 
and I love this virtual cockpit as well. This looks just so cool. I'm, I'm honestly, it's the the most luxurious cabin to be in. Um, there's, you never get bored. You're stuck in traffic. There's loads of things to fiddle around with. So I just turned the ignition on now. In fact, I'll wind the window down so you can hear it. Not sure if you can select drive mode. Yeah, you can straight away without even the, the engine being on. Here you can select what kind of um, drive mode you want it to be in. I'll just turn the ignition on. It sounds pretty awesome. 